I was going to. If I was going to go ahead and um, factor out this problem to solve, first thing I look at is factoring out a GCF, which I notice that they have a common factor of 2. So when I factor out a common 2, I get 9x squared plus 18x plus 8 equals 0. Correct? The way that I wanted you guys to do a lot in your homework that I told you guys to continue to factor down, I want to see, can I continually factor this down? Okay. The 2 just remains on the outside. It's really not going to be affecting our problem. And actually, in reality, if you want to get rid of the 2, you can. That's 2 times that expression, right? So you can just divide by 2 if you like to. That goes to 1. That goes to 0. So in reality, guys, the 2 is just a multiplier. It's not really actually affecting our answers at all. OK, so now I basically want to determine what two numbers multiply to give me 9x right? and multiply to give me 8, where the middle terms are going to add to give me 18x. I'm going to do these in my head, because you guys can do the, lo the longer method if you like. But I know it's either 9x times x, or I have 3x. So I got to think of what are all the numbers to possibility to give me, um, what are all the possibilities that I can multiply to give me 8? Well, you could do 8 times 1 and 4 times 2. Does everybody agree with me? So I'm going to start thinking in my head. Now, if I multiply, if I put a 4 here and a 2 here, now first of all, remember, these two numbers, since they're going to multiply to give me positive 8 and they're going to add to give me a positive, I know that they all have to be positive, right? Yes? So nine, 9, when I multiply, if I do a 9 times a 4, that's going to give me 36, right? 2 times um, x is going to give me 2. That's going to give me 38. I need to get to 18. That's way too big, right? Everybody agree with me? Yes, Mr. Go. OK. So if I swap them, we know that they all have to be positive. If I swap those, this gives me 18. That gives me 4. That's 22x. That's not going to work. So what about if I do it here? Um, and what we notice here is 3x times 2. So if I do my middle and my outer, 3x times 2 is 6x. 4 times 3x is 12x. 12x plus 6x is what? 18x. So guess what? That's my corrected answer. So I can basically just erase these, set these equal to 0. And now I can just apply the zero product property. 3x plus 4 equals 0. 3x plus 2 equals 0. Solve x equals negative 4 over 3. x equals negative 2 over 3. And that's it. Done. Fine. Anybody have any questions on that?